My name is Jennifer Hancock and this is bullying tip number 29. Physical bullying should never be tolerated. Report it every single time. What is physical bullying? Why do you need to report it every single time? Well, physical bullying is a crime. It's a serious crime and it should not be tolerated. If it happened to an adult, we would not call someone punching us bullying. We would call it assault or battery and we would get the police involved. We really would. If someone punched me, I would call the police because I don't deserve to be punched. I haven't done anything to deserve to be punched. And the nicest thing I can do to prevent other people from being punched is to call the police and have this person arrested. Physical bullying, being shoved into a locker, having someone break your fingers, having someone steal something from you. Physical manifestations of bullying are, in the adult world, crimes. And you know what? If it happens on a school playground, it's still a crime. We're not necessarily going to want a five-year-old to be thrown into jail for pushing another kid. So we treat it differently, but you still need to understand if you are the victim of this or you're the parent of a kid who's being victimized by this, the seriousness of what's happening. Bullying is a really horrible word to use because it minimizes what is actually a really serious problem. And physical bullying should not be tolerated ever by anybody and anybody who thinks oh it's okay because it's just children is an idiot and I hate to be that blunt but they're an idiot all right because we're talking about serious crimes and behaviors that kids learn in school they carry with them into adults there is a reason why 60 percent of bullies go on to commit crimes as adults and end up in the criminal justice system because what they're doing in childhood is criminal and they're not being called on it and they're getting away with it. So they learn, I can get away with this. This is just how you do it. In order to help yourself, if you're the victim of this, in order to help your child, if they are the victim of this, and in order to help the bully not turn into a social menace, you need to report every single incidence of physical violence, whatever it is. No exceptions. Every single time. That's the only way to get it to stop and it's the only way to protect yourself. And yes, a bully is going to get more aggressive. Uh, when you report them because they're going to try and intimidate you into getting you to stop because that's what they do and it's always worked. Don't allow them to intimidate you. You need to take precautions in advance so that they don't have access to you after you've started reporting, but you need to consistently report. The people around you, if you're witnessing this sort of thing, understand the seriousness of what you're seeing and report it. Find the courage to report it. Physical bullying should not ever be tolerated, ever. Report every single time because it's criminal behavior and it should be treated with the seriousness that all criminal behavior should have. Again, this is tip number 29. Physical bullying should never be tolerated. Report it every single time. By the way, I'm Jennifer Hancock. I'm the author of The Bully Vaccine. And if you have a child in school and you're struggling with how to get the school to help you help your child, and this is a problem that a lot of parents have when they go to the school, they don't get the help they need. I have a free course I offer on my website um, and it's down below the bullyvaccine.com school bullying and you'll see the free offer um, and I it's a there's a video lesson there's documentation logs there's a huge amount of information on what you need to know so that you can get the school mobilized on your child's behalf effectively all right so go to the link below sign up for that get that information help yourself help your child and I'll see you later bye bye